Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over an inventory unit. This is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer. This is a 20 foot stock combo um, with kind of a slant wall set up for your front tack. So it's set up both for hauling cattle and with that slant wall and that slant and center gate, it's set up for hauling horses as well. So you can do pretty much whatever you want with this trailer, whether it be cattle, horses, sheep, llamas, whatever you guys do with your livestock, this trailer is set up to handle that. We'll start out here at your front tack room on this trailer. As you'll see, we do have an extra wide 42 inch door um, with your swing out carpeted saddle racks. The cool thing about these saddle racks is they're fully adjustable and fully modular. So if you wanna put more saddle racks on here, maybe order some more blanket bars besides the four you have to your door, they'll easily insert in this track and you can adjust them, set them up however you guys see fit. Then once you get your big heavy saddles and uh, blankets, if you are running blanket bars on this saddle rack, they can get pretty heavy, so this runs on a gas piston, so no matter how much weight you have on there, that piston's gonna help get it in for you. And then again, once you have your big heavy saddles on this, you start pulling out and that piston's gonna help push those big heavy saddles out for you, so you're not having to carry all that weight yourself. On your door to this trailer, we do have your blanket bars mounted to your entry door. It also runs on that gas piston to make it really easy for you to slide your blankets on and off on a straight angle versus trying to get them by that door as you're doing that. The cool thing I like about them, once you get your blankets on there, it's gonna help pin those blankets up against that door so they're not moving and not traveling while you're traveling. Below that blanket bar, we do have your three compartment brush box. Again, separated into three compartments in the bottom. So if you get a bottle or a spray bottle of fly spray that freezes and cracks in the winter or something that leaks, it's gonna contain it in one of those three boxes and it's also gonna have a drain at the bottom of that. So your stuff's gonna stay nice in there and you're not gonna have to worry about if a bottle does leak, it's spreading throughout all your brushes, boots, whatever you're storing in that brush tray. Standard on every single Cimarron we're ordering for our inventory purpose, we are gonna have a fold up step to your front tack room just because we feel it makes it so much easier not having to make that you know, two foot step up. You have to make about a 10 inch step up which makes it really easy to get in and out of this trailer. Inside this trailer, you're gonna have a fully carpeted boot box kind of serves as a step up into your gooseneck area, but also for some storage. Um, again, you're going to store chairs in there, slickers, boots, whatever you want to keep out of the way from rolling around in this trailer. Then again, it does give you a nice step if you are running a mattress or storing some stuff up there that you need to get to. Fully carpeted drop wall and fully carpeted deck. Again, if you are staying in here, you're going to have carpet to throw a little mattress on. It'll be a little more homey for you. Up here on our passenger side wall of your gooseneck deck area, we will have a plexiglass tray holder. Again, if you'll pull your plexi out of this trailer, it gives you a place to store that plexiglass. It's not laying on your barn floor. It's not floating around in a trailer and get stepped on broke. It's got this nice own little place where you'll know where all your plexiglass is for this trailer at all times. On your short wall of this trailer, we will have your shelf. It is a lipped shelf with a rubber mat back there. So again, and whatever you put up here, it's not gonna be rolling around. You're not gonna get where you're going and whatever you put up there is not gonna be laying on the floor. So again, two inch lip with rubber on there, so it's easy to clean too. If you have something up there that gets a little messy, you can power wash that rubber off really easily. Below that, we do have your clothes rod. Again, being able to hang your show clothes, your rodeo clothes, slickers, jackets, whatever you're taking, get them up off the floor, out of the way. That way you're super organized while you travel and everything's right where you know it's at. Then for your bridle hook setup in this trailer, we have your bridle hooks high and low, fully carpeted behind those bridle hooks, just in case you do have some sharp conchos on your bridles, bits, stuff like that. It's not going to scratch up the trailer and then vice versa, it's the trailer is not going to scratch up your bits as well. Behind your swing out saddle rack, it gives us a nice little area to plug in a 25 gallon quarter water tank. So again, you're going to be able to take all that water from home with you guys. Um, you're not going to have to worry about trying to find a gas station at fairgrounds that has water turned on, especially in the winter. A lot of fairgrounds will shut down their water spigots in the winter to keep them from freezing. You're always going to have onboard water which is really important when traveling with horses, especially if you're traveling longer distances. And as we walk out, we have upgraded the LED lights in this trailer. So not only in this tack room, but your horse area as well, you're gonna have these upgraded LED lights in this front tack, your horse area, and then I can show you some cool awning lights we put on this trailer as well. They'll help you see while you're, you know, saddle and loading, offloading. Coming down the hip side of this trailer, again, it is a stock combo trailer, so you are set up with plexiglass in your plexiglass tracks all the way around. I showed you guys that plexiglass tray and it's really easy to take Cimarron plexiglass out. Normal trailers, you're having to pull a little metal panel off, slide it back on, screw the panel off. With Cimarron, they make it really easy. They give you guys slits cut up here in the front and all you do is you layer the plexiglass one over the other. You can pull all your plexiglass out through those slats. And then again, 
slide them back in the exact same way. So you're not having to take a screwdriver and remove anything. It's set up for you guys to easily do at home, no tools required. Up top, you will have your 16 inch LED awning light that serves as your spotlight out here while you're saddling, um, feeding, anything like that. It's gonna give you enough light that it'll shoot kind of some light over towards that tack room door. Make it really easy on you guys, especially with that light in that tack room. Get all your tack organized, get saddled, get doing what you need to do with this trailer. Down low, you will notice that we do have some black accented aluminum wheels. It's really gonna match that charcoal metallic color on this trailer. Um, these are two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. And on top of that, these are nitrogen filled tires. Again, we like doing nitrogen filled tires. We do them on every single trailer that we get from Cimarron, just because it really helps that PSI fluctuation when your temperature swings get pretty drastic, especially in states, you know, Colorado, where you have some really cool mornings in spring and fall that can warm up to, you know, 80s and 90s in the afternoon. You're not having to worry about putting air in these tires or removing air as that temperature changes. Moving around to the load area of this trailer, you are kick matted on this trailer. Your whole back gate is kick matted. You'll have kick mat about four foot up, wrapping the whole inside of this trailer. We like to do that just because if you have a horse that likes to kick or paw, they're tearing away at that rubber, not the actual metal on this trailer. And it's a lot easier if you do have a horse that likes to kick or paw, if they're tearing that rubber up, it's super easy for us to replace or repair that rubber than it would be if they kicked a hole through the sheeting on this trailer. The floor in this Lone Star stock combo, it is Cimarron's strongest floor, um, four inch centers. Most trailer manufacturers will do 10, 12, 16 inch centers. Cimarron is the strongest floor on the market. No matter what animal you're hauling, they're gonna be standing directly over support beam on this trailer with those four inch centers. And then of course it is just rubber matted over the top of that. Um, really easy to pull the mats out in a stock combo because you're not having to fight anything. Everything's coming straight out. They don't have to go in a certain way. So it's really easy to maintain the floor on the stock combo. Inside this trailer, it is set up on a slant wall same. It'll match that slant on that front tack wall. The reason we do that is because we feel you guys will be using this for horses as well. So we wanna keep that slant profile going so you're loading horses in the slant and not using any wasted space in this trailer if you are running horses. But at the same time, we wanna give you guys a full center cut gate in case you guys are hauling cows, hauling some bulls, stuff like that. We wanna set these stock combos up to be used for whatever livestock you wanna haul and be as efficient as possible. In this stock area, you are going to get Cimarron standard aluminum or insulated roof running the whole length of this trailer, even in your tack room. So it's going to stay about 20% cooler in here for your horses in the summer and about 20% warmer in here for your horses in the winter. When you latch that gate over, it runs on a gaff or a little rubber grommet on the floor and then a plastic grommet in the ceiling. Again, giving you the ability to have a wide open stock trailer if you're hauling cattle to the sale, something like that, you will have this whole stock area to use. That'll fit securely over there nothing popping out to where anything could snag a leg behind it or anything like that. You will notice I showed you that light in that front tack, the upgraded LED lights in this trailer. Down your hip wall, you will have two LED lights, one for each compartment if you were splitting this gate down the middle. That way you have enough light that if you are stopping and checking on your cattle, checking on your horses while you're traveling, you flick the switch back there by the camera and this lights will really light this trailer up. Um, on top of that, in front of this stock combo, I think it's really important to have an escape door just because you never know if you're going to get in a bind or maybe you're hauling something up front that you need to jump off this front door without opening that back door. Maybe use it as kind of a calf gate separator right here. But we do have your escape door set up right here. It does have a chest bar in case you are hauling horses. They're not leaning against that door on the outside. They're leaning against this metal bar. So again, we try to set these up as efficiently as possible for you guys. Cool thing about the stock combos is typically in a horse trailer, you're gonna get little D tie out rings, you know, one or two for each stall. When you go to the stock combo model or the Lone Star model, you will get a tie rail that runs the whole length of this trailer and I could probably show you guys a little better back here. So the whole length of this trailer up high, you are gonna have a full length tie rail, ram the whole length of this trailer, which gives you pretty much infinite possibilities as how far you can separate stock, how you can tie stock out. This gives you a lot of places to tie out versus you know, your one or two that you're gonna get in a horse trailer per stall. Looking up high at the load side, you will have a six inch LED awning light. Again, giving you guys enough light while you're loading and offloading your horses. They can see what they're doing. Your cattle can see what they're doing. You can see what you're doing. It's really gonna help save you guys from an accident having that nice LED load light back here. Moving down the head side is gonna look really similar to that hip side we went over with the exception of that escape door. You're gonna have that same 16 inch LED awning light up high. Um, you're gonna have two tie rings 
tying animals out, tying stock out, whatever it may be. You'll have two tie rings on that offside as well. I forgot to mention that over there. This trailer's 610 wide, 71 tall. So again, set up for whatever you want to do. You can fit horses, you can fit cattle, but it's still a manageable size being a 20 foot length, only 71 tall, 610 wide. You're really going to be able to get this trailer about anywhere, whether it be to the trailhead if you're doing trail riding or the show if you're showing some cattle. I want to shut this escape door to give you guys a view of what this trailer looks like overall because I feel this is the best side to kind of show you guys that nice charcoal metallic color. It's really going to pop with those black accented wheels. It's a really sharp looking trailer, especially with that uh, smoked amber um, plexiglass in this trailer. It's a really sharp looking trailer that functions really well. We'll finish off in this video today up here talking about what Cimarron has going on underneath this nose. This is just a standard manual hand crank. Uh, single speed jack. We can't upgrade that to an electric hydraulic jack through our shop. Super easy for you guys if that's something you wanted to upgrade. Spare tire mounted up high again so no rocks are kicking into that wheel and you will notice it is a matching aluminum wheel and tire to the rest of the wheels and tires on this trailer. That way if you do have a blowout, do have a flat, you're not throwing a steel donut on, you're not throwing a mismatched tire, you are going to look matching, you are going to look sharp when you get where you're going even if you have a blowout on the way there. Up here at your coupler, you do have your B&W coupler. It's a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball, your safety chains, your breakaway brake cable, and then your adjustment for your coupler. And the cool thing about it is you actually have a kingpin as well. So that way you're not having to worry about that coupler sliding. If it drops or you hit the brakes hard, you will have that pin in there to prevent that from happening as well. So again, this is a 2023 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer. It's a 20-foot stock combo. Um, we are getting some more inventory, and this one is sitting here. It is available for you guys today. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number is 5N221027. Again, 2023 Cimarron Lone Star 20 foot stock combo. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we have coming in that are similar, maybe you want a bigger stock combo, something of that nature, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.